Hola amigos y amigas, it's wash day and I'm ready for more. Before we delve in, if you're new to my channel, if you've been watching, thank you to both cams. I really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe, please like the video, and please hit the notification bell while you're here. I think I said it all. Let's delve in. Today is all about Uncle Funky's daughter. So I opted for the Ultimate Kinky and Curly Travel Kit which is something Target does have readily available because they don't really have too much of the line available. And so I figured this is a good way to delve in, get to know the product, and if there's anything I love, then I can order it straight from Uncle Funky's daughter because you can get good deals on big sizes. So let's delve in to what I got. Midnight Train Leave-In Conditioner, Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream, Extra Butter Curl Forming Cream, Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, Thirsty Curls Leave-In Revitalizer. And to precede all that, because the kit doesn't come with anything for the wash portion of wash day, I got the Heal & Renew Intensive Hair Mask. One thing that is a godsend is this little handy dandy chart that tells you how to use the products. Because when I saw these, I was thinking, I don't know what a bunch of them are for. And so I will be following along once I'm out of the wash portion and into the leave-in styling portion. If you've been following my curly hair journey, you know what comes first. Wet the hair with my water and aloe juice mixture. Now we pre-poo coconut oil. Hothead by Thermal Hair Care. This stays on for 30 minutes. I'm back. I reframed because it's been driving me crazy. <laughs> I have not found the ideal lighting location framing situation at all. But I digress. My hair has been washed. I got my protein treatment in and I'm ready. I don't even know how I look. I feel like I look crazy. I'm ready for the Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask. Oh, it's minty. I'm not a fan of minty things, but I like the smell. Ooh, it's it's very firm and creamy. A lot is firm once you start digging in. Oh, it feels really nice. It feels super soft. Wow. It has great slip going in. I'm curious to see how it's going to be with hydration. Once it goes on the hair, it doesn't feel like it's really thick. I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to be as far as penetration and softness and healing. But it feels amazing. I love the, the mintiness of it. It gives me like a light tingling that feels so good. It's on all over. I love how it feels. It doesn't feel overly thick. But at the same time, it's nice and thick enough for my hair to be coated. So next up, plastic cap. My hot head. This mask feels so amazing on. This stays on for half an hour. I am so in love with this mask. My head was tingling the whole time and it's still tingling. It has like this minty, amazing, magical goodness. I wish my scalp could feel like this all the time. It feels super soft, super moisturized, not at all stripped. Oh, so happy. Mm, it's like I, I feel the moisture in my hands. Oh man, it feels incredible. Mm, yum, yum. I could have honestly left this on my hair for hours and hours and hours and napped with it on. It felt so good. <laughs> Not saying that's what you should do, but man, I love this mask. So this gives me hope for the rest of the products. So looking at this handy chart, it says to leave the midnight train leave-in conditioner to spray it on. So it's a spray on leave-in. I'm not the biggest fan of sprays. To know me is to know that I am a pump girl. So I don't really spray into the hair because I want to make sure I get it evenly through the hair. But I will spray it into my hand. Oh, it's actually super. It's an actual liquid. I don't know if this was the best idea. Oh my god. It smells so good and it feels so soft. I'm gonna continue applying it this way because I don't really do well with going like this and I'm, I wanna make sure I have the leave-in evenly throughout my hair. I wish it was a cream, I will be honest. I actually am gonna end up using it like this because it's too hard to do it the other way because it's actually like, you know how some leave-in creams will say, oh, come in a spray and then they actually aren't liquid so you can spray it onto your hand and apply like a cream but this is so liquid that i'm actually gonna spray it on i still have a bunch left my hair is short so i can actually get some life out of this it smells incredible it feels soft it doesn't feel like a leave-in to me though i don't know it feels more like a hair primer mainly because i'm used to my leave-in being a cream I hope I didn't put too much. More than anything, it just feels like my it made my hair more wet. It didn't really do much more. And so 
that gives me a little more clarity as to how I want to proceed because it says that next is the Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream or the Extra Butter Curl Forming Cream that you can use one or the other or both. So since they wrote it in the, that order, I'm guessing Super Curl first, Extra Butter next. So what I'm going to do, because I follow the lock method and for the lock method, you do the liquid or leave-in. So this is kind of like a liquid leave-in, but my leave-ins are actually creams. I'm going to go in with a Super Curl first and then put my oil, the Black Jamaican Castor Oil, because I need my oil. And then finish it off with the butter one. Let's take a look at the Super Curl. Oh my god. I really did not expect that I would love the smell and the feel of these products as much as I am loving it. And I was also worried about refresh days and will I have enough? Will I have enough to hold me over? And I think it will. I mean, this is... I didn't get too much. Little feel like it goes a long way. My second dab and pretty much covered all throughout. I think I put more in the front. So I'm going to do one more to make sure I'm fully covered. They don't feel heavy. Like, I wonder if I'm using too much because my hair feels like it's thirsty for it. So it doesn't really right now give me the sense that I'm moisturized. So I'm curious to see what my hair is going to feel like when it's dry. I mean, the leave-in smelled great. This smells and feels great. But when I'm touching my hair, it's not at the level of moisture that I want it to be in. I'm going to get my oil on and then we're going to try the next cream. So now the extra butter curl forming cream goes next. It smells good. Hopefully this will give me that feeling of moisture because I really don't have that going for me right now. They smell great. They have great slip, all their products. This one does feel a little better. And since I use butters in my refresh days, hopefully this will maintain a good level of moisture. I won't be lacking moisture, but the first two layers don't feel like they were giving me what I'm used to. Next up is the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I actually realized that we have a big bottle of this that my daughter has been using and she has done great with, but I haven't tried it because I wanted to wait till my Uncle Funky's daughter day. So let's give this a go. It's nice and liquidy. Doesn't have as fruity a, a smell as the rest of the products. It's very, very liquidy. Huh. I've often heard that you're supposed to use this with a lot of water, like soaking wet hair. It doesn't say that in instructions. My, my hair isn't soaking wet, but it's also not damp. It's definitely wetter than damp, so hopefully that's okay. I know that the big sizes come with a pump, so you won't hear that critique. I mean, as you can see, I'm no fan of the travel size. I could have been choosing my big size, but I'm staying true to this experiment. Oh my god. Either you get too little or you get too much. Yeah, I feel like I've applied a liberal amount to my hair. Yeah, holy crap. It's, it's well saturated in product. And now for the moment of truth, let's diffuse. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. I didn't expect this. It feels more moisturized than I was expecting. Not as moisturized as I'm used to, but no complaints. Nothing that I would worry about my hair being pushed into dryness because I'm super paranoid about that. When I touch my hair, there's a nice level of tiny bit of oiliness, which is probably from my black Jamaican castor oil, which is something I look for. I'm not 100% dry down here nor up here mainly not really dry down here so i need to let my hair settle but i know that as it settles it'll shrink up more because as i was diffusing this the drawer got the tinier the curls got which works for me do, do, do. i don't know why i start saying do 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 and stupid things <laughs> turning so i'm really curious to see what a refresh day is going to look like and how long I could stretch this out for. I'm not super crazy about the Midnight Train leave-in nor the Super Curl, but they were also not bad because given this result right now, having used the both creams and the routine like I did incorporating my oil, my hair feels good. And I'm surprised by the gel because I had heard mixed things. I'd heard that it's incredible, but that unless you do it on soaking wet hair, you might start seeing white dots, but that it's okay if you see those white dots to just wet the hair and keep going. So I think my hair was wet enough which is good to know because that works for my routine then. And the gel as its own styler worked great. Yes, for Uncle Funky's daughter so far, I will check back in and see how far we can stretch this out. Day four and the curls are not looking bad. My energy is a little low because we're having a heat wave here in San Francisco and we do not handle heat well in the city because none of us have air conditioning and it's getting to be a little too much. So 
bear with me. I'm washing my hair tomorrow and, and it's a combination of need as well as logistics. Wearing my hair with Uncle Funky's daughter until day four at least has given me a good time frame and a good number of days to feel it out and see what the verdict is for me. The Heal and Renew Mask and the Curly Magic Gel are a yes. Everything else for me is a no. The product that I didn't showcase on wash day was a Thirsty Curls Leave-In Refresher because obviously I had just washed my hair. I have used it. It says you can use it on wet or dry hair. I don't like using stuff on dry hair. I like to initially always go with my first round of moisture with my water aloe juice mix and wet my hair properly. And so I sprayed it on. It doesn't seem to have the same range in its spray as the leave-in, the Midnight Train leave-in conditioner. It doesn't do it for me. I am not a fan of liquid leave-ins, neither for the original leave-in conditioner nor the leave-in refresher. They make no sense for my high porosity hair. I really need to pack in the moisture and this doesn't deliver. And so the same goes for the Super Curl and the Buttercream. They also don't give me the level of moisture that I need. They're both excellent smelling creams and they both feel amazing the consistency is great they had great slip putting it on they felt great on the hair and they didn't feel heavy or producty either i just feel that it's not enough to pack the punch into high porosity that high porosity hair needs and i think it would work better on lower porosities of hair such as medium and low porosity hair basically it's just not as moisturizing a leave-in and cream set as i would like it to be the heal and renew mask felt incredible oh my god it felt so amazing on and it was really surprisingly great when i washed it off the gel and here's where i'm mixed with this whole wash routine and i'd be curious to try it on with my regular moisture base because as is my hair has felt okay it hasn't felt super dry in a concerning way but it also hasn't felt perfectly moisturized especially given the fact that I know where my hair can go, how soft it can be, how happy it can be with its moisture. And this routine did not deliver that to my hair, which is one of the factors that coupled with my logistics of having to wash my hair and my need to kind of wash it and get back to something that gives me the moisture level that I need because I am really paranoid. If my hair doesn't feel 100%, I need to make sure it's there so that it never gets damaged again, especially the way it was in 2019. So the gel is a keeper. I think it works great. It wouldn't be a styler that I would use all the time, but it would be a gel that I would seek out if I needed defined curls and good hold, which is what it gave me. My back is a little wonky because I haven't been too OCD about um, <laughs> making it look perfect. But the hair is happy. I didn't apply gel at all. I think I did a little too much on wash day. I will definitely be playing around with the gel again with my regular TGIN moisture base. So the gel and the mask are yeses. And the rest are no's for me. But I think they're quality products. I liked the way they felt. They were easy to work with. They made sense the way that they're formulated, but for lower porosities of hair than mine. And that is my low energy <laughs> send off take. Hopefully in the next video, I'll have more energy. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one.